Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I wanted to start a new series on my channel. Recently I made a video talking about the AEK and why it is one of my favorite weapon setups right now. Um, and in that video I asked you guys to name your favorite weapon setup, and a lot of you guys just went crazy with that. There was a lot of responses, and I was kind of overwhelmed with how many different weapon combinations that you guys came up with. And so I wanted to make a new series on my channel. I'm really not sure what I'm going to call it yet. I'm kind of thinking of going with either weapon test or field test or weapon simulator or something along those lines. Uh, so the way it will work is that you guys will leave a comment down below with all the specifics as to what setup I should be running. So what weapon, what attachments, what should my pistol be, and you know all of my gadgets as well. And it's something along the lines of what Level Cap does for loadout. If you guys have seen that series, a lot of people do this kind of stuff. Uh, but the reason why I am starting this now is because there really has been a lot of changes in the most recent patch to both the weapon and the attachments and I feel like this would just be a good way to engage with you guys and try to find some really powerful setups that a lot of people may have overlooked. Uh, so the way it's going to work is that you can leave me a comment down below with the weapon setup that you guys would like me to try. I am not going to be picking weapon setups that are bad, just straight up you know they're bad like pistol only or knife only. I'm going to go with setups that are actually viable and I will pick like the top th or I'll pick from the top three most voted or most thumbs up comment and then I'll try that in the next video. Uh, the reason why I am not going to be playing these wonky setups is because that's just not what I want this series to be. I want it to be a place where you guys can come up with some really good suggestions on different setups that I can try and if you guys don't really have the time to try it out yourself I will do that for you. I'll kind of be the the weapon simulator, put it through the tests and kind of give you guys the feedback on what I found and what I liked or disliked about the setups. Uh, so I'm kind of excited for this. I hope you guys is, are as well. But today the weapon setup that I kind of chose for myself, it was in the previous video, someone suggested it, is the G3A3 with the heavy barrel. He didn't specify which attachment so I decided just to stick with the iron sights and then I went with the M1911 pistol, defibrillators, and the med pack. Uh, so at first glance, to be honest, I was a little hesitant with this setup. I never really used the G3A3 before the patch. It just really didn't fit my playstyle, and I don't really think it was a, a really good weapon to begin with. But after the patch, they did buff it a little bit. They, they increased both the maximum and minimum damage. I believe it's now up to 34 at close range and 22 at long range, which is really nice. I mean, that's only three bullets up close. That's, that's really solid. So I do like that, but at the downside, it only has a 550... Uh, RPM, which is the slowest out of the assault rifles, but you know on the flip side it also has the highest damage out of the assault rifles as well. So that's something that's nice about it, but also the negative about it as well. So uh, like I said, at first glance I was kind of hesitant, but after playing it for a while I started really to warm up to it. I felt like the recoil was manageable at further distance even though you are using the heavy barrel so your bullets are extremely accurate. The recoil can be a little difficult to manage. If you go for burst fire, you have to realign your shot. You'll probably see it multiple times throughout this video. Where I do go for a long shot, I do have you know a nice bead on them, but then when I go for the burst fire, it kind of moves my screen around a lot or my crosshairs a lot, and then I have to reassess it and then shoot again. And usually they'll die that second burst, which is really nice and one of the reasons why it is so powerful, but uh, it is something to take into consideration when using this. Uh, where this weapon really does Excel though is at medium range engagements and that's what the heavy barrel brings to uh, this attachment setup or to this weapon setup. Uh, if you're not aware the heavy barrel essentially just increases the maximum effective range of a weapon and it just allows you to do a lot more damage at medium range engagements and that is where this weapon excels. You will just kick people's face in at medium range engagements. Up close not so much, long range it can be difficult to line up the shot because of its high recoil but at medium range combat this thing is just an absolute monster. I was surprised at how effective it was. So I really liked it at medium range engagements. As you guys can probably tell, you can just rip people's faces off. I mean, they die extremely fast, especially with the heavy barrel because it's just increasing your damage, or not really increasing your damage, but just making it so that your weapon's damage doesn't fall off as fast, so that you are closer to your maximum damage uh, the closer they are, or the further away they are from you. Uh, but one of the largest downsides, I would have to say, of the G3A3 would definitely have to be its magazine size. It's one of the things I just hated about this uh, about this weapon 
before the patch, it just, it, you run out of bullets so quickly. I know you don't have a very fast RPM, but it really doesn't matter how fast an RPM you have when you only have 20 bullets in your magazine. So it does suck, and that's one of the things that limits it even after the patch now. But I, I find that now that it's just so powerful, and the fact that you can line up shots at medium range uh, you know, reasonably well, you can take out multiple targets no problem with 20 bullets in your magazine. You just have to be very efficient with your, with your bullets. Uh, and also, you really have to know that if you get into an engagement with one or more players, or you know, two or three players, you're gonna have to use that pistol so you're gonna you're going to need to switch to it and you're gonna need to be very effective with it uh, so in this video I am using the M1911 pistol and to be honest this is not my favorite pistol to use I'm more of an M9 or an MP443 pistol I just like the high rate of fire of those guns and I like their magazine size as well that's just personal preference and I really don't think it's going to matter the main thing with pistols is that you are comfortable with the one that you're using you know it's rate of fire you know how how to use it in a given situation and I really don't think it each one is better than another you just have to know how it works and how it performs so you know I am using the M1911 and I do think it's a fantastic pistol and it works well with the G3A3 you know you can take out targets very quickly with it but like I said it really doesn't matter which pistol you're using at least in my opinion as long as you're comfortable with it and as long as it works uh, works for you um, so overall, I was extremely happy with this weapon setup. I found it to excel in pretty much all situations. Of course, in close quarter engagements, it's not going to do as well as some of the higher RPM weapons like the AEK or the F2000. But, I mean, that's not where this weapon excels. It's going to do ex extremely well at medium to long range engagements, and it definitely excels in those situations. Yes, if you get into close quarter engagements, the high damage, the high, I think it's 34 damage a shot, is going to take targets out extremely fast, especially if you get a headshot, one headshot in there, they are going to drop like a rock. So yeah, you can still perform extremely well in close quarter engagements, uh, but you should really just try to stick to fights that are medium to long range. Um, yeah, guys, so this wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it or you would like to see me continue with this series, please give the video a thumbs up. It's a great indication that I could I, that I should continue. If you guys would like to submit your own weapon setup, you can do so by leaving a comment down below. And also make sure to give a thumbs up to the setup that you want me to try out in the next video. Uh, but yeah, other than that, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, have a good one and take it easy.